it doesn't matter how many times you fall. What's more important is how many times you get right back up. Hey everyone, this is Bob Cargill. It is Sunday, November 27, 2016. I'm here in a big, beautiful field off of Route 27 in Wayland, Massachusetts. And I'm going to talk to you just for a minute or two, a few minutes, about dealing with adversity. When my son was only six years old, I wrote an article about him called A Day in the Life of a Skateboarder. And in this article, I wrote all about how he had taken to skateboarding at such a young age. It was amazing. And I wrote about the fact that he was learning at a young age how to fall and get right back up. Despite a scraped knee or a bruise on his elbow, he would get right back up and right back out there on the skateboard, doing the ramps and the jumps and, and all of that. And I was so proud of him at a very young age. I told him, Scott, you're gonna learn lessons now that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. And you know what? He's almost 21 now, he's 20. And he did learn those lessons at a young age. He learned lessons that a lot of grown-ups never learn. And it was because of skateboarding, it was because of falling down and getting back up into this day. He's perseverant, he's determined, he's resilient, he's a tough kid and I'm so, so proud of him. I think back to my early days, my childhood, playing football junior high football or freshman football it was right around that time I was put through the gauntlet in football and that's when you run in between a line of players on both sides and they hit you from each side mm, it it hurt I can feel it now um, I remember playing Little League Baseball and then not going out for Babe Ruth Baseball because I was afraid the pitching was too fast I remember playing ice hockey when I was young and getting in a fist fight and getting beat up on the ice. And I wasn't too happy with myself. I was embarrassed and I was hurt. I remember not breaking into the starting lineup in seventh, eighth, ninth grade, junior varsity, sophomore year, I played basketball. Those three, four years, I didn't become a starter. I had to sit on the bench and I was so frustrated, so demoralized. But you know what? I'm here now. I'm still standing. I'm running marathons. I'm raising a family. I'm working hard in a career in marketing and social media. I'm enjoying it. And I'm thinking of all the adversity people deal with. Health, money, family, marital, job, Sports, you name it, we deal with challenges all the time. And the key is to get back up, get back in the game, get back in the ring, get back in the saddle, time and time again. That is the key. So if you're dealing with some kind of adversity now, some kind of obstacle, some kind of challenge, Think of my son Scott when he was six years old falling down on a skateboard and getting right back up. Think of me being afraid to face fast pitching in Bay Ruth baseball so I didn't go out even though I was really good in Little League. I didn't continue in that sport because I was afraid. Think of me getting beat up on the ice in a hockey game when I was a kid or going through the gauntlet in football or not breaking into the starting lineup. But I'm here today still trying, still working hard, still persevering, tenacious, determined as ever. If you're dealing with health issues, if you're dealing with financial issues, if you're dealing with a family crisis, if you're dealing with challenges on the job, remember, as Robert Shula, the late, great Robert Shula once said, tough times, tough times don't last, tough people do. That's what it's all about, getting back up more times than you fall down. This is Bob Cargill coming to you from a big, beautiful field off of Route 27 in Wayland, Massachusetts. It's Sunday, November 27, 2016. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.